Hi, my name is Louisa Neal, and I teach visual art here at Flint Hill Middle School. Within all of the seventh and eighth grade fine art classes, um, the students are combined together, and it is a two-year flip-flopping curriculum. Besides working as an art educator, I also continue to have a studio um, myself and personal art practice. In terms of our year-long curricular structure, there are elements of exposure to contemporary art, art from throughout history, um, human experience around the world, and ourselves in relationship to those two things. And then intellectual, physical, affective components are built into each of the projects. So things such as brainstorming, conceptualization, metaphor. Physically, we're always um, working with our hands. Uh, it's a studio-based course. And then affective expression. Some of the individual projects we'll be doing this year uh, are seen on the next slides. Um, the images are of past student work, but of course your students' work will be unique to them. Each of the um, projects also has some sort of technical component where we're learning skills um, using different materials that are commonly used in art, along with creatively um, coming up with our own approach to those. So here you see spatial design and perspective, which we've started already. Masks, which we've been wearing and have personal experience with throughout the last year plus. Um, we'll also be looking at theatrical reasons people use masks to convey character, ritual um, from throughout history. Students will be designing masks and creating them three-dimensionally. Our digital photography unit this year will be focusing on connection to place. Using clay, um, we will be learning how to build forms with increased complexity. Uh, again, students will design the form that they choose to create um, and may go in a more sculptural or vessel-oriented direction. They'll also have an opportunity to um, try out the potter's wheel. We'll be doing a review of painting, um, a review of color theory, and doing some painting using acrylic. We'll also be learning about how to draw people. So technically proportion, um, but then in terms of expression, uh, how to convey a sense of self. Um, so beyond just representative portraiture, students will also have an independent project as part of this unit. And um, it may not be, it may be approached in a more abstract way. Throughout the year, students keep sketchbooks. Um, they were given to them on the first day and are kept in the classroom. And um, the first thing they do when they come in is to do an entry in a sketchbook to help develop ideas. It also is a way of um, remembering terms and practicing good note-taking skills. There'll be a record of their thinking and a book that um, shows their progress over the course of the year at the end. Um, studio skills are also something that are essential to what we do in the art room and can be applied uh, in many different arena as well. Um, so diving into creative process, thinking beyond the obvious, um, contributing personal perspective is super important in terms of class discussion and hearing from each of the students and listening. Um, engagement and perseverance, everything that we do has a long-term structure uh, in order to have the time to actually develop ideas but that does require practice of sustained focus and overcoming obstacles when um, it might may be hard to come up with an idea uh, or perhaps technique is something that's more challenging. Stretching and exploring, so experimentation is huge. Um, not being afraid to try something new. Um, and then collaboration skills. I mentioned listening previously, but that is essential. Um, thinking about empathy. Um, and then physically just moving around our space within a collective work environment. Ways to sp support your student in art class, encourage them to share their ideas. I'd love to see you at parent conferences um, and share some artwork at that time. It may be um, sharing an image of the artwork uh, if it is online again. Um, and then last thing, just encourage your student to remain positive towards themselves and their work as they try things, remain curious, um, we continue to kind of deal with some challenges from the last year or so, especially, um, and positivity goes a long way. 
Thank you. Uh, please reach out at any time if you have questions um, or something you would like to share. Uh, email is the best way to do that. Have a good night. Bye.